Hello my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, it's been a while and a lot of things have been happening around the world. Um, hot things, uh, not as far as weather, but uh, political, uh, environment, political issues around the world, uh, the economical issues, uh, all sorts of things that are happening, lots of which are prophesied about them back in 2019 and even before that and um, in my recent videos uh, also uh, lots of them have been happening and some of them are in the mix if you like uh, so they, they will happen uh, some of them are good for the people some of them are not uh, so we need to be aware of them uh, that is the point and fight a good fight in the spiritual realm and also in the earthly realm in the world we have things to do we have a mission to do so we have our own responsibilities in our own environment in our own surroundings in our own field of uh, workplace uh, home family business wherever you are wherever you whatever you do in the field in the city uh, you have to do the will of God. Um, there's a lot of things happening, as I said. I don't know which one to talk about, but there's a lot. So uh, it's beyond uh, mentioning them and talking about them. Each, each one uh, needs its own dedicated session to talk about and discuss and go into details. But... I have said this before, I am not a politician, I am simply a child of God and whatever I say is revealed to me by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and of course, I try my best using my little humble position that I uh, might have in the world, my own little domain, to tell people who are watching me at least. I know I'm not a massive influencer. I don't have many people who missed me during this last few months that I didn't have any videos published. But even if I um, have an impact, a positive impact on a handful of people's lives uh, through this media, that's, that's enough for me. That's enough for me, I'm happy with that. I'm not, I'm not after uh, fame or name or anything of the sort. Uh, I am here to uh, raise awareness. You might be a great influencer and you might be able to pass it on to your own fans, to your own followers. And I, I, I'm not into any of those um, social medias that people have handy. I don't want them. It's not like I don't uh, use them because I can't. Yeah, I don't want to use them because I, I just don't believe in them. I don't like them. It's part of the agenda of the powers to turn everybody into zombies. And, and they have turned a uh, majority of them into zombies. Anyway, there are lots of things happening in the world and we want to be aware, first of all, what's happening, so you don't look at the surface of what they say and how they show things, how glossy and green everything is and how wonderful things they do is, uh, and go with it and uh, be on their side. I want you to look further deep into things and test the spirits as we've been commanded. We have been told, we've been taught to test the spirits, any spirit. You know, that can be your government, governor, that can be your mayor, that can be your uh, sheriff, that, can, that could be your president, that could be your queen or king of your country. Uh, you have to test the spirits and know who is for the people, who is for God, and who is against the will of God and his people. Now, uh, before I go any further, I've said this before and I say again, and I'll probably say it again and again, uh, there is 
a worldwide agenda. There is a worldwide conspiracy. Now, if you don't believe that, shut this video right now and don't ever watch me and unsubscribe and go ahead. Watch millions of others who have millions of their own fans and subscribers and followers who sing from the same hymn sheets of the greedy globalists. I don't want to, I didn't want to mention all these keywords uh, that might trigger all their systems and ban me again. I have already been shadow banned. My channel is hardly found on the YouTube. If you search, you can hardly find it, but you can only go to the website and through the website find the YouTube channel. So it is a little bit long-winded to find me. Um, it's not because of any of my fault is because of what I say of course and they don't like it abortion rules you know they tried uh, they, they try, tried and tried to give themselves more and more power uh, to have as much control as possible over uh, human beings uh, even from before con even before conception and after conception and after even birth in some states uh, they, they, they even allowed that to you know to abort a child even after birth uh, it's just disgusting and it's just hear these things and you just think how how dare you how can you give yourself that much that much right to do this uh, of course uh, man was given the power to rule over the earth and all the creatures that are crawling on the earth and in the sea and flying in the sky. But not over another human being. You understand? Now let me let me read that from actual scripture so I'm not saying anything wrong. So I'm not paraphrasing things. Too much. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 reads, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our own image, so that they may rule over the uh, fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. You understand? There was, no, there was no man there. You're not supposed to rule over or control. So you understand that. And uh, before I move further, I just want to solidify what I said about the worldwide conspiracy that I believe there is and has been. It's not a new thing. It has been going on for centuries. And I uh, want to say that that is actually in your Bible if you open Psalm 2 verse 2 you read the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against who against the Lord and against his anointed against the Lord and against his anointed saying let us break their chains. Let us break their chains and throw out their shackles. You understand? If they're against your Lord, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Glory, they're against you. You are in Christ. You are in Christ. If they are against Christ, they're against you. Don't make a mistake. Don't ever mistake that, because that is not what they show and what they say. They say it's all about you. We are the servant of the people. We are here, civil servants, to help you and serve the people and do the will of the people. Or will they? And do they? They won't. They're all for their own pockets. Yes, there is a handful of godly people probably in 
in the governments of the world, in the probably parliaments or assemblies uh, in, in different pockets, small pockets of the uh, governments, each, each government of each country, the, the governments of the world. But um, overall, uh, they are overpowered and uh, they don't get the chance to have a say and uh, if they do uh, they get silenced or mocked belittled and coerced to resign or do something about them so yes the kings gather together and the rulers band together against the lord and against his anointed saying let us break their chains and shackles but the one enthroned in heaven laughs the lord scoffs at them so should we so we should scoff at them and laugh at them we should continue uh, and and rise up and ramp up our fight against them in our own circle in our own circle of family and friends and do what God is telling us to do not what your boss your manager your your supervisor tells you yes there is a limit as far as your job is concerned as far as your responsibilities are concerned you have to do them but there is a line if they cross the line then you have to put your foot down because if they cross the line which is the word of god and infringes that then you have to be the mouthpiece for god and go against that no matter what you are who you are where you are if you're a child of god or you claim you're a child of god you're a christian you're a born again christian holy spirit filled even if you're not but you are a born again christian you have a little bit of conscience even even if you don't believe anything but you have a bit of conscience if you just believe in god and nothing else then you have a responsibility you have been put there for a reason you have been put there as a delegate of the lord so anyway i don't want to stress and focus on each one of these titles i have a lot of them and I, i'm not going to go through actually all of them i'm just going to mention the, the highlights of a few of these things that have been happening in the world i'm glad about the uh, supreme court ruling and i know most of you are happy about that uh, then moving on from that uh, i want to mention about the new tough driving rules that have been set in place and become uh, law or or act uh, in act, at least in this country and i know similar things are happening around the world to make things difficult for people uh, to make it basically difficult and unhospitable to drive uh, and, and be a driver or road user uh, no matter what kind of uh, vehicle you might have uh, they want to push people towards their stupid electric cars that don't work and those people who bought them they are not happy about them their batteries uh, will die and replacing of, of that kind of battery will be more expensive than actually replacing a car it, it won't be economical this is a stupid idea it would be a good option for for um, certain things like uh, public transport to be electric like going back to uh, trams that you know old you can see in old movies you know lots of countries have them and some of them still have and some towns and cities still operate those electric trains uh, that's fine but um, going as far as forcing people to have those uh, forcing manufacturers to only manufacture car electric cars and stop petrol or diesel cars then that's just ridiculous because uh, you again you're taking the uh, freedom away from people under the guise of 
climate change, which is another uh, topic I want to talk about. Climate change has been there for centuries. Uh, climate has been changing forever. And that's just nature of the, the universe, if you like, that the earth and the universe, so there's nothing new about that. And the, the new thing is, uh, yes, the climate has been probably, probably affected, not changed the way you are telling us, uh, but uh, the, the climate is affected only because of what you, the power greedy monsters on top of the pyramid that you want to make, have been doing. Not because of what we do or eat or wear. It's because of you. Uh, you know, if you want to, like I said, if you want to turn every, every car, every vehicle electric, then that's fine. Start with your own, with your own buses, with your own public transport, uh, the police and the uh, NHS or, you know, services like that, the, the public uh, transport, basically. If that worked, if that worked well, uh, give give it another 10 years or so, see how it works, not just one or two years and, and, and pull wool over people's eyes and say, oh, it worked brilliantly. No, let people see actually the results and see how many people are happy about it and how many people are not happy about it. Why don't you put these things uh, into, uh, these are important things, these are divisive decisions. Why don't you put it to a referendum? Why don't you ask people about these things? Anyway, uh, moving on, um, just saying these things as titles and topics to, to say that there is a lot of things happening and a lot of these things, I did mention them in my previous videos and prophesied that they were going to come. Royal family of this country is in total disarray and they don't know what to do basically and they don't know who to replace because there's a fight between them, between them for power themselves. Um, who to replace the late queen that they still pretend she's still there. Nobody wants them. There's some uh, who still want uh, that there, but majority of people are not happy, especially in the light of what's going on in the world. And um, the reason behind that again is that it's this uh, family that have been doing all these evil things in the world. It's not that. If you believe again, if you uh, are outside this country or in this country, uh, worse if you are in this country and you actually think that the royal family is just there as a decoration and they have no power, you are fooled. You need to go and find out how much power they have. They, they have enough power to even rule over the ducks in your little ponds around your house and uh, and the deer in the field. They have so much power, they can take the country into the war and they have done. It's not like, well, they have the power, but they don't use it. They do use it. They have done it and they are doing it now, right now. And uh, next thing uh, on my list is anti-immigration rules, again, part of the Brexit. Uh, they use this Brexit as their own tool, basically, in the government to put in place uh, tough rules and uh, laws in place to send immigrants to Rwanda, to horrible places, and tag them uh, electronically or jail them, take away their possessions, their money and, and their children. And they, uh, they, are not, they have no right to say anything about these things, to, to, to raise their voices or uh, make it public. They have no rights. And, 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 and this is the country that um, they claim um, they're advocating all the time for democracy all around the world. They want to even export democracy to other countries, if that's even possible. And, and, and they boast that they have the most modern democracies or advanced democracies in the world. Uh, while they're trampling all over the basic principles of 
democracy and human rights by doing these things. Brexit uh, was voted for uh, because people wanted out of the ruling of a bunch of unelected elite in the EU and so the government of this country would have its own power uh, over its own country. But that didn't happen. They dragged it on for six years for their own agenda because they didn't want it. The government didn't want it from the beginning, but people wanted it uh, merely because of the ruling of the unelected elite um, and their power and their forces. Uh, over this country but uh, like I said they have been dragging it on because they don't want to do it and they have tried different ways to have ties with the EU again from the back alley but uh, they keep they keep failing uh, but in some areas they have they have managed to do things like like I said like the immigration like the uh, driving rules things like that they use the EU rulings that benefit and advantage them, the government, the powers, um, not the people, and bring in other rules saying that now we are Brexit, we are out of the EU, we have, we have our own laws like immigration, so we can set these things in place as laws and, and, and do them. Anti-protest rule is another one that they uh, they're doing and, and you know they're, again they're making it difficult for people to even talk or raise their voices or protest against any of their uh, rulings they slapped a mask over uh, the faces of majority of people for over two years and they tested the waters that way they found out they can push further so they are pushing now, literally they are saying shut up to everybody uh, and, and you can't say a word. So if you protest, which um, people do, and there has been a lot of protests in major cities against a lot of their evil agenda, including the climate change, including the 5Gs and smartphones, which are stupid phones, smart meters and all that uh, which is actually the reason which is actually the main reason for their own uh, climate change that they claim if you are really worried and concerned about the climate change why don't you stop those things that are major um, culprits of the climate change or can be the major cul culprits um, of the climate change uh, 5g harp uh, smartphones uh, and uh, smart meters on totally unnecessary nuclear facilities that you have that you poison the sea and the earth with the waste of it and the sky and people why don't you stop those first and put your electric cars in place in the companies in the factories in um, the factory cars police cars, replace them uh, with those, ambulances, and, you know, uh, the uh, rubbish removal trucks, all those kind of things, start with those. Those are the ones, buses, uh, trains, those are the ones that make the most smoke and heat. So stop those. And you're not talking, I, 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 and I say these things, uh, with the background of electrical engineering because that's my background so I know what I'm talking about anti-protest rules I mentioned that and a lot more uh, that's been going on and I don't want to bore you with these things all I want to say in this session in this video is that uh, be aware of these things these what they show you is only the surface and it's all nice and glossy and it's beautiful projecting a beautiful picture of the future but what's behind it is very ugly uh, you need to see past the the surface and have the spirit of the lord to discern the spirits first test them 
put them to test with the scriptures with the word of God every one of us have our own circle of friends and family at least and then colleagues and um, workplaces wherever we work wherever you are you have a responsibility you are a child of God you have been given you are a delegate of the Lord you've been given the power to rule over the fish over the uh, creatures on the ground and in and the birds in the sky but not another human being remember that if you are a boss yourself if you're a manager if you're a ruler uh, if you're a governor if you are actually a leader of a country and by any chance you watch this video remember you have been given a power to be used for God for people not for your purpose your own selfish ambitions for your own pocket not for, own, for any of that if you are really seeking the kingdom of God the, the, the God of universe the Lord of Lords the King of Kings will meet all your all the desires of your heart I want in this video to make a dedicated session of prayers and exhortation for people to join uh, it, it will probably be live it will be a live session and uh, we can all pray together I will lead the prayers and uh, have a little bit of a talk or exhortation at the beginning and, and then uh, praying against uh, the things the evil things that might be happening at the time um, or for the things that we want to happen uh, but I want to know first before I actually start doing that before I actually allocate a time and a slot for that to basically dedicate all of us and uh, dedicate our time for prayers and intercession and uh, petition uh, and supplication to the Lord uh, I want to know uh, if there are people who are interested in this move if, if you're not then uh, there's no point in me sitting here wasting uh, my energy and my uh, electrics and lightings and everything else to do this I can just pray on my own if, if that's the case but if there are a lot of people who would like to join and who believe in this cause they would like to join and pray then I would like to know first of all if you could please put in the comment where you're from uh, and what time or day is suitable for you so I will take a little bit of a, a kind of census and find out uh, what's the common day or hour that best suits the majority of people so I can make an allocated time to uh, start these series of uh, exhortation slash uh, prayer sessions with you so if you will please uh, put in the comment if you are first of all interested in that then we can do this uh, if there isn't many people interested then I'm afraid I'll have to just go solo and pray on my own but I would like to have as many people as possible to join in this and let this become a move a campaign that um, can move mountains because that is what that is the only weapon we have the weapon we have is the Word of God which is sharper than any double-edged sword so we have to use that what is the point of having a double-edged sword just in your pocket and not ever use it? What is the point of that? What is the point of knowing all the Bible back to the front but not ever using the principles of the Bible? What is the point of that? Just answer me that out of curiosity. If you are a Christian, or if you are a child of God, if you claim or believe that you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are 
following the leading of the Holy Spirit. But you never actually uh, do anything in your workplace, in your circle of friends and family. You don't stand for the Lord. You don't stand on your ground, on your own principles, the principles of the Bible, the Lord, the laws of the Lord, the laws of God. Then what is the point of that? There is no point. There is no point. So I want, this, this is a challenge. It's a little bit of a sacrifice for me and I want you also to do a bit of a sacrifice. Put aside some time. Dedicate yourself. Commit yourself. Dedicate that time. Commit yourself to this. Because the world is changing and if we don't stand against it, it is going to be against us and against the Lord. We'll talk about all these things in other sessions. I know lots of people are, you know, in, in that belief that, uh, well, let the whole world go uh, haywire and just go upside down so Messiah can come. You know, how ridiculous is that? And what is the point of you there? God has had a mission for you before your conception, before you were even conceived. God knew you by name. He knew you by name and he predestined you. And he had a plan for you. Still has a plan for you. No matter how old you are, how young you are, where you are, you're a man or you're a woman. And I don't like these ideas of gays and lesbians. I, I, I totally go against that. I don't care what they do with my video. It is against the word of God and I stand against that. Whatever is against the word of God, I stand against it. Even if I'm the last person on earth to stand against it, I stand against it. I don't care if it costs me my, uh, my job, my business, my YouTube channel. It doesn't matter because I've done that and I still do it and I will do that to the last drop of my blood. If that's what it takes. We have the word of God which is sharper than any double-edged sword. We have the word of God. The word of God that is only in your head, not in your heart, is worthless. The word of God that is in your head and not in your actions is worthless. Put it into actions. Look how the evil are using the biblical principles to advance their own evil kingdom. And yet we, as children of God, fail to use the basic principles of the Bible to advance the kingdom of God. Anyway, I close my case here. I ask you kindly, please think about this. Commit yourself to a certain time prayer. If you can't join me, because I have to pick a time by what I see is most common from the people that are commenting in the video, under the video. So I have to pick a day and time that is most common uh, or most suitable for the majority of people. And if I pick a time that is not suitable for you, I will still want you to see the video replayed and because uh, it will be on the uh, channel or the website. I want you to do it in your own time. Make a dedicated time. Don't just watch me. Follow the prayers. Listen to what I say. Take to heart. Ponder on them. Ponder and meditate on the word of God and pray. We need as much prayer and as many prayer warriors as possible. May God bless you. Till next time. Goodbye.